These are the things that can get your student visa cancelled and can get you even deported from Australia. And obviously, we don't want that happen to you. So in this video, we will talk about 10 things that you should not do as an international student in Australia to avoid this situation. And point number nine is so critical that it is one of the most common reason for student visa cancellation and deportation in Australia. So if you want to know about all these things, make sure to stick around. Now, just before we get started, here's a quick disclaimer that this information is general in nature and should not be treated as a legal advice please speak to a registered migration agent or a lawyer if you have a specific circumstances that you want to discuss. Now that being done, let's move on to the first thing that you should not do, which is working beyond the allowed hours. So as you know, student visa comes with a working hour restrictions. At the moment, after 1st of July 2023, international students can work up to 24 hours per week or 48 hours per fortnight while their study is in session. And obviously they can work unlimited hours during the official school holidays. Obviously, there are a couple of exceptions to this at the moment. One of them is if you're doing courses like Masters of Research, then you are obviously exempt from this working limitation. And also the students who were already working in the aged care sector on the 9th of May 2023 can continue to work unlimited hours until 31st of December 2023. But all of the students are required to abide by the work limitations they have on the student visas. And if you don't follow them, then that could lead to possible student visa cancellations and deportation. So please make sure to follow the work limitations. The second thing is in regarding doing illegal jobs. Now when we are talking about illegal jobs here, we are mostly talking about off the books or sometimes what they're known as cash in hand jobs. Every person working in Australia is usually required to follow certain laws and one of them obviously will be to pay their taxes. Working on these off the books jobs or cash in hand jobs could lead to legal issues. Of course there are some protections available for international students who get exploited at work by the local employers. If you are in that sort of situation, we highly recommend you to speak to Fair Work Australia about it. But if you are doing illegal jobs and cash in hand jobs, that can definitely put you in lots of trouble. So don't do that. Moving on to the thing number three, which is overstaying your visa. Now overstaying the visa can lead to very serious consequences that could also affect your ability to return back to Australia in the future. So if you are planning to stay in Australia after your study, please make sure that you look for other visa options because usually after you finish your study and if your visa is expiring you need to leave the country but as i mentioned if you want to stay in australia after your studies as well it is very important that you look for other visa options for that again please speak to a registered migration agent or you can do your own research on the department of home affairs website as well the next point is regarding not attending classes and ignoring the course progress so when you are studying in australia it's very important that you regularly attend attend your classes. Some universities and institutions also have attendance requirements that you must meet if you are here on a student visa. It is usually expected that you should maintain around 80% attendance in your course. And not only just maintaining the attendance, it's very important that you maintain course progress as well, which means you are passing your exams, completing the assignments and completing the subjects and the units that you need to do. Failing to meet your course progress can also lead to issues regarding your student visa. So it's very important that you pay attention to your studies and maintain that course progress. Obviously, if you are facing some issues in regards to your studies, please seek out some help from your university or institution. They usually have support services available for the students who are struggling with their studies. So don't hesitate to ask for help. The next one is regarding not updating the address. If you are an international student in Australia, the chances are that, that you may have to move few times while you are studying. It's very common thing that many students move from one house to the other when they are here. I did that myself as well. So if you are moving a house, please make sure to notify your educational institution within seven days of moving. It is very important requirement that you must notify your education provider within that time frame and not updating them within that time frame could lead to visa issues as well. The next one is regarding not maintaining the insurance. So as an international student, you are required to have an insurance known as OSHC, Overseas Student Health Cover. And you have to maintain this Overseas Student Health Cover until the whole duration of your student visa. So if your insurance is finishing earlier than your student visa, you may have to reapply for this insurance. But it's very important that you maintain your insurance while you are on student visa. Next one is regarding breaking the 
the local laws. So local laws applies to all the people who are here in Australia. So whether you are coming on a student visa, a tourist visa or any other visa, all the basic rules apply to everyone. So it's very important that you follow all the rules and do not engage in any criminal activities. That could include things like selling drugs, getting caught doing theft, any fraudulent behavior, any terrorist activities or participating in some illegal protest as well. So it goes without saying that you should avoid all this trouble because involving in such activities is a shortcut to get your visa cancelled. The next one is in regards to the academic misconduct. So what is academic misconduct? So it is obviously related to your academic performance. So if you get caught in plagiarism like copying other people's work or copying from internet or cheating in your exams or any other falsification of the information that could lead your educational institute to cancel your enrollment at the school which obviously could lead to student visa cancellation and ultimately deportation obviously educational institute will look at this case by case basis but if you are someone who is regular offender which means you're getting caught regularly in cheating plagiarism and so on then definitely that can pose lots of issues for you so please avoid that at all costs now let's move on to the point number nine now before we move on to point number nine if you're liking this video make sure to give it a thumbs up as well really motivates us and it helps algorithm to push this video to more people now point number nine which is fake documents providing any sort of fake or bogus documents whether when you're applying for your student visa or while you are in Australia that is definitely one of the most common reason why students get deported from Australia in the recent past as well many international students who get caught using these fake or bogus documents were sent back home so even if you have managed to come to Australia on these bogus or fraudulent documents chances are that if you get caught they can cancel your visa and send you back home so try to keep it real and do not ever provide fake documents when you're dealing with any organization here in Australia and last but not the least on our list is not following other student visa conditions so as an international student there are plenty of visa conditions you need to be mindful of so it's very important that you follow all those visa conditions like for example not starting work before the start of your course so if you are coming to Australia you have to make sure that you only start working after the commencement of your course during the pandemic periods there were some changes regarding this by the government where international students could even work before the start of their course but that has changed now so make sure you do not start working before your course commencement now there are many organizations that are there to support and help international students as well obviously the first one will be your university or your educational institute there are many other government organizations as well that are there to help you so if you need help please ask for it now if you want to know how to calculate your work hours correctly we have covered that in one of our previous videos which is appearing on screen right now so feel free to click on the video that's coming up on screen and i will see you there